Hey everyone, we're back with more Star Wars Double Republic. Silly and I are now joined back up, and we are here to do some questing. After SMT, what series am I going to play next? Uh, Shining in the Darkness, I think, is the next one. I'm talking to Relis Poe. We've been waiting weeks. And those things are still swarming our property while you sorry excuses for defenders of the Republic sun yourself on the base. This is a military operation, sir. This planet hasn't been cleared for civilian occupancy. My brother didn't mean to be insulting, but for three centuries our family has dreamt of reclaiming our place on Terrace, and now to be stalked by those things. Terrace is a dangerous place. What are you doing here? Our ancestors escaped Terrace before the bombardment. They kept everything, deeds, papers, we've even got hollow images of the estate. They always intended us to return. We can't go chasing civilian claims, justified or not. We've barely got the men to hold the base. The Republic validated our records, but some outlaws set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. This is an argument about 300-year-old real estate? <laughs> no, this is about a Republic citizen whose home has been invaded by someone with an army of sectroids being ignored by the soldiers who should protect him. We almost got killed entering our own property. The Republic will respond to all such claims of hostile non-indigenous life forms based on strategic value. After 300 years, you can't blame someone for thinking it was up for grabs. Each generation has passed down these deeds. We always knew we would return to Terrace, that we were merely exiles. If the Republic won't help us claim it, we're going to have to go back to Alderaan. Unless, could you help us? Your claim seems just. Great. No, it doesn't. They're all yours then. If you find anything important, you can fill out a form at HQ. All we need is to get those blasted droids cleared out and find out who's controlling them. I can handle the rest. Thank you. Um. Look, after SMT, yeah, I, I plan to play the Shining in the or the Shining series, but uh, there's also the issue I have where uh, does Persona count as not part of the SMT series? Because I was just include, I was just including them in the same same boat. Did you get to kill any clowns in the Shining series? Uh, there might be. I don't know. You guys remember clowns in Shining Force? Talking about the Shining, not Shining Force. Yeah, well. Command sending shining out new tactics amazing. all the time. You're gonna have to. Obviously, you're gonna have to. Um, Here. Emulate that, I think, right? Oh, uh, no, you can get Shining Force and Shining Force 2 on Steam now. Whoa! Yeah, they're really cheap, too. I got them both for like $2. I got Valheim for $20, so. I was told it was good. Valheim, Valheim. You should get it, too. On Steam? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, load it up on the store so I can. I have a friend who like never gets early access games and he's like, it's actually worth it. <laughs> okay, I will take a look at this after and I'll load it up on Steam to watch. Uh, and I will see because uh, I'm always for more multiplayer games. Hmm. High Impact Bolt ignores 60% of the target, uh, the target, target? The target's armor and Shock Strike or Shock Strike deals 10% more damage. Okay, high impact bolt. Oh, that's the one that does more damage if God is there. on them. Okay. Long. Uh, yeah. So, uh, do, do you consider uh, Persona, uh, Persona to be part of the? Uh... Even Havoc Squad to learn from a veteran. Stay sharp out there. Part of the SMT series, because if so, I'm going to be going through that as well. Also considering doing um, Majin Tensei and. Um, there was another one, Last Bible. Uh, those are all part of the SMT universe, or under the SMT umbrella. You got a quest here with Urana Kiel. Do I have a quest? Yeah, I don't think so. Person, me over here by the tent. Wait, where are you? Are you next to me? Right here. Oh, yeah, I have this quest. I forgot we're doing this. <laughs> Sorry, the UI is not very no good. Room, no <laughs> it really room. isn't. Wait. Refugees? Why are you here? Maybe refugees. Is Terrace at war? 
Might as well be. The local troops dragged us out of our homes. They said we'd be safer here while they fight the scavengers and pirates. While one side's looting, the other's bombing. And we get to sit in a tent and hope. Did I ask for your life story? <laughs> what else am I going to do? Got no job, no house. My mom's practically catatonic. The whole camp's just waiting to go back to the settlement, but the scavengers are still there, probably looting left and right. I could check out your home, see if it's still standing. Hey, did you say you're going to her house? Someone's going to the settlement? Get me my land speeder. Shut the fuck no, up. No, the no, no, are still no. out there. Oh, and my sonic washer. Hey, See, this Bada, is why no heroes ever Someone's actually do trip. anything. Everybody All wants you to do back stuff. Off. We do this one at a time, or nobody gets anything. This, uh, this could take a while. Are you still in? A favor is one thing. If I'm ransacking a war zone, I'll need to be paid. That's fair. But you get payment after, not before. Get to our houses and bring back... Well, Laisha, you start. I want my digging tools. I don't know how long we'll be here, and if we're going to build or grow anything, we'll need them. All I hear all day is dumb boys fighting because there's nothing to do. I've got a box with ten custom Pazak decks. Bring those. I've got a micro-generator in my toolbox. Bring the toolbox and we can plug in everything electric. I've spent years working on a novel in my spare time. It's on data file. I'm sure it won't have been stolen. <laughs> and what I need is our Nadu seeds. Just a few packets would go a long way. It'd mean everything to my mother. Please, hurry. A fucking Eeyore in the back there. <laughs> this is such a funny... Someone tweeted a link to an article to, reminding people of this article. It says, she blow that dick like a cello. It makes no sense. And Lil Yachty is sorry. And then it says, okay, let's stop for a section. Before you come at me, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna blame my A&R because he listened to that song many times and he allowed me to say that. I guess for a second I thought a cello was a woodwind instrument and it is not. And no one ever said shit. No one ever pulled up a pick and said, hey man, I don't know if you know what this is, but it ain't that. I fucked up. I thought Squidward played the cello. He don't. That's a flute. I fucked up. But it do sound good. And then it says, Squidward Tentacles, the Spongebob Squarepants character, Yachty reference, plays clarinet, not a flute. In fact, multiple people tweeted at Yachty over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play the clarinet? Uh, well, well. I have General played Garza the clarinet. General graces us with her finest. Yes. At ease. I'm Colonel Gaff. These are my senior officers. Your CO sent orders to do whatever is necessary to support your mission. Of course, she didn't see fit to tell me what that mission is. You care to enlighten me? I can't discuss the details. Typical. Forget the reconstruction of Taris. I gotta shift everything around and help with some top secret mission nonsense. Whatever Garza has you looking for, you won't find it on Taris. Nothing unusual has happened since I took command. Patrol teams three, five, and eight. All lost, or without explanation. Sergeant Thorne, I don't recall giving you permission to speak. Shut the fuck I up, I wasn't dude. speaking to you. I was speaking to the lieutenant, per General Garza's instructions. Are you ordering me to violate Code 73B and ignore the General's directive, Colonel? Always got a regulation to quote, don't you, Sergeant Thorne? Oh, best character. I came here for intel, line. not arguments, people. I already told you, Lieutenant, there's nothing to find here. Taris is dangerous. Casualties are common on patrol teams. It's unfortunate, but not unusual, no matter what Sergeant Dorn says. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a planet to run. Carry on with your secret mission. Just don't muck up anything important. Apologies for the Colonel, Lieutenant. Not all men are meant to lead. Colonel Gaff is disobeying a direct order. I can assure you it's not the first time he's done so. I'm Ilara Dorn, sir. Sergeant, First Class, Commander of Search and Rescue Squad 204. We have three full squads, all MIA on patrols. The situation is critical. Do you have any idea what happened to these men? I'm afraid not, Lieutenant. Casualties are common on swamp patrols. Rack ghoul attacks account for the majority, approximately 87%. However, SAR sweeps discovered no evidence of rack ghoul activity in these instances. Someone else attacked those teams. If you're looking for unusual activity, then this is it, sir. What exactly is a rat ghoul anyway? Rat ghouls are disease carrying mutants. Rat ghoul bites and scratches are infectious. Those infected become rat ghouls themselves in 6 to 48 hours. I included the last known coordinates for the MIA patrols in my official incident report, Lieutenant. I'll load it into your datapad for your review. 
Tares falls under unexplored, unsecured territory protocols. All armor cams transmit to SAR command. I'll contact you with developments. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Good luck, Lieutenant. That was interesting. I've had drill instructors more relaxed than that woman. Not to mention that accent. What do you mean? What's unusual about her accent? The only people I've heard talk like that were Imperials. The Republic must have freed her homeworld in the war. Growing up imp would explain a lot about her personality. Uptight. Doesn't even begin to describe that woman. Guess it's off to work then. I'll watch our backs. Oh, you don't like Alara Dorn, the best character in the whole storyline? Hey, Alara Dorn's great, but that doesn't mean she's not uptight. So? There's nothing wrong with being uptight. You're uptight. A little, yeah, I can be. I can also not be wearing pants. <sighs> um, I was going to say something and I forget what it was. She, oh, yeah, so I convinced my coworker um, because he was, uh, he got a PS5, right? I managed to score one. And uh, he started playing Demon Souls on it because uh, he got it with the PS5. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh my god, this game is so fucking hard. And I'm like, yeah, that that's Demon Souls. Uh, mm -hmm. Has always been that way. All of the Souls games are like, oh. Dana Hunt. And he goes, yeah, I just wish they'd had like an easy mode or something for it. And I'm like, welcome to the argument that's plagued the internet for years. You don't look like a pirate. You're not a pirate, are you? Please tell me you're not a pirate. Don't mind him, soldier. Pirates attacked our settlement and fed his family to the Rakuls. None of us have been the same, really. Perhaps, perhaps you can help us? That depends on what you want me to do. First pirate that crosses my path, bang! Feed him to the Rakuls. See how he likes it. Okay. Look, maybe he's not all there, but all of us know how he feels. We built a settlement out here. We defended it from rat ghouls. We started families. And those pirates attacked and took everything. It's hard not to want revenge. But mostly we just need to move on. Start a new settlement on a different part of the planet, maybe. How do you intend to do that? We had equipment at our camp that made Taurus livable. Protected us from the rat ghouls. If we can get that equipment back, we can start over. Maybe start to forget and heal. Can you help? You can count on me. So, my bot is frozen. Okay, why does he keep doing that lately? Hang on a sec, guys. I gotta reload my bot. On your feet. I know it's long said something to chat, but my bot was not updating. Sorry guys, Star Wars does not know how to minimize uh, at all, so it felt the need to reload my UI because I had to minimize the game to open some up. Uh, anyway, long, long story to boss fight here. Uh, if you guys want to join long for a boss fight... There we go. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, he uh, he started playing uh, Demon Souls, and he was complaining about the difficulty. So I suggested that they try out, because uh, they're both, uh, two of my coworkers are super, like, super big uh, uh, Star Wars fans. Like, even more than I am. And they... I suggested they play Star Wars uh, Fallen Order Jedi, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and they were like, no, no, no. And then they finally picked it up, and now they, they keep talking to me about how much they love the game. <laughs> Why would you tell them to play that and not this? Ah, uh, they've already played this. Why would you tell them not to play it again? There's more figured, story content. I figured they'd want something new they haven't done before. How about Star Wars Jedi Academy? What is Jedi Academy? <laughs> is that a new game? No, no. It is a re-new gaming, I think is what I would call it. <laughs> I used to play it on land at my friend's house. Any theories on how they got to that location? I was hoping you could tell me. Power converters come from Jedi ignition systems, on, engine parts. It takes work Check to remove them. Someone dropped these converters. Either the patrol or their attackers. We need more information to determine which. I'll search the next coordinates immediately. I'll remain in contact, Lieutenant. 
drawn out. Man, I am really confused because still, it actually has long say asking me about SMT, and then uh, my chat didn't update. It has long saying boss, and then has you saying boss again, and then doing it again. Oh wow! Yeah, I did the whole boss thing already. Yeah, I'm really confused. Okay. Oh, there's a gold dude that's fighting. That's what I'm running over here for. He stood no chance. Oh, we gotta defeat five of these pirates. All right. Hell yeah. You do that. I'm gonna mine these things. Attack is just continually going. Oh, there you go. Finally ended. Alright, so uh, that, they didn't count for Daz. Death Claws Pirates, apparently. Alright. Increase critical chance of your next aim shot, explosive charge, or wounding shot. Let's go. We're go over here and do it. So I can see the other direction. So, yeah, uh, how do you feel about Star Wars Squadrons, silly? I don't know. Now, does that game have to be played in VR, or can it be played outside of VR? I haven't played yet, though. You want it? Nope. Me we either. We need to go into the Heroic Zone. We're, like, out of the Heroic Zone. Yet. Maybe. The stuff showing up on the map here, though. We'll recover survival equipment over here. You have to. I don't know. Do I? Maybe I do. Maybe we have to okay. kill dudes over here, and they're just on. One dude over here. Pirate guard droid. Is it close enough? Oh, we're gonna find out. Hey, right, he's got yeah, something to pick up. Kind of... Hey, I right, resold 33. There we go. Uh, will I be doing Drink Dragon Quest 9 tonight? Uh, no, uh, tonight is going to be Borderlands with uh, Oddly Fluffy and P the Magic D. Literally, they show up, and my game hasn't fucked up somehow. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think these ones might be too far out. Those ones should have been okay. That one counted for me. Yeah, I. Pirate Justice bonus is now part two. It is defeat five of them again. I'm gonna find a bunch of them anyway, because we still need to pick up three survival equipment. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be playing Borderlands, so. Uh, oh, uh, Lox says that uh, squadrons can be played without VR. Uh, that's a game I've been looking at, and I'm like, hmm, that could be fun. As long as the Starfighter does control better than it does in. Uh, Battlefront 2, that'd be nice, because unfortunately the Battlefront 2 squadron, or, uh, the, uh, ship's control, not great. I can almost guarantee you that the game will be very difficult to play with, without a joystick. Yeah, probably. It's probably best played on controller, honestly. Those kind of, those kind of games are either, they're never good on keyboard, but you, they might be good on controller. Because, like, when I play No Man's Sky, I have to play the ship with the controller and then everything else with the keyboard. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hello, pirates. Please come back, because Miro insists on doing this stuff. Let's go these guys in the meantime. <laughs> of course I insist on doing this stuff. It's our first Republic playthrough. We have to show everyone everything. It was good, but you weren't super blown away by it. Would be a good game to play with other people.
would you say it's a game that uh, would be better played with Cilio on? Depends on how alive the multiplayer is. Well, from what I understand, I'm reading on Twitter, is the game's pretty popular. Sorry? There. Anyway, the game's pretty popular on Twitter, so... From people tweeting about it. So I assume the multiplayer is alive. Play the camp- oh, there is a campaign? I didn't know that. I thought they were- it was just another one of those games where they're like, Let's make only multiplayer. Also, so uh, for this for this playthrough, I guess we don't really need to work on the uh, bonus objectives that much, uh, unless they're multi-stage like this, because they. Uh... You'll never know whether they are until you do them. Doesn't it usually have uh, stage one? Take the pirate's dog chips. I thought they usually had a uh, stage one in their name. Oh, I don't know. go over here and up through this area. I've been looking at playing the uh, campaign in Battlefront 2. Wish the campaign had more Empire missions. When does the game take place? Never. Does it take place at the same time Silly takes place? Is it nighttime when you come here on uh, Terrace or the uh, Empire? No, it's the same planet. Okay. I just remember when we were on it's Terrace, it was like nighttime all the time. There's no day and nighttime in this game, is there? Ah, uh, there. Uh, that's what I thought. Like, uh, I could have sworn it was like just always night here for us. Dark mission. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe. But I do know that. Best signal equal intercepted. Urgent intervention equals required. To anyone receiving, this is Emil Vazna for Public Security Team 10 of 7. We've been captured by the man we came to arrest, the Locust. This scumbag is a scavenger on a massive scale. Historians have scoured entire planets down to the crust, and Terrace is next. We need armed assistance at these coordinates immediately. The Locust ships must be disabled before he escapes and gathers his droids for full uh, scale operations. Please hurry. I'll look into this. You equal hero for the Republic. Thanks, robot. All right, let's wait back where we just were. <laughs> let's finish what we're doing over here first and go back. Or this is one like just to our right here, uh, overrun settlement that we can do, and then we can do that on our way back to turn those in. So now I have. Four thousand cartel points again. Excellent. What are you getting with them? Good question. All right. This guy wanted farming equipment. What's up? I can see why this version of uh, Gunslinger Smuggler is just so much better than the other one, even though the other one does, like, if it can stand still, does, like, shitloads of damage. Because this one is not penalized for moving at all, even from low levels. Huh. Like, you can just go in and out of cover, and then when you go into cover, you, uh, you, in you can fire instantly, and when you come out of cover, you have two chances to fire while moving. 
The other one doesn't seem to have anything like that. One of the benefits of the other one over this one, then. Uh, if you can stand still, you do big damage, I think. Oh, okay. I think. But it's like, if you have to move, then that's it. Alright, so it's, it's, it's a turret class versus a, a mobile. The mobile less damage, but can move. Turret, big damage, but if you move, you're fucked. But this one still does big damage, still. Yeah. I should try it out and see. Um, when will I be starting to Sky 2? I plan to start it after I'm done, um... Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey, which I feel really bad because I can't go to Tyler's stream because that's what he's streaming right now. I go anyway, and I've kind of gotten a little bit of stuff spoilers on it, but at the same time, I'm not that big of a deal. But we gotta find the Pazic cards. Fuck this game. You know if you see like, has a card crate. Oh, I am looking at the ability bar instead. <laughs> I am looking at the ability bar instead. <laughs> Thanks, Ellie. Just following you around the map. Fine. Keep an eye out for it. No, I suspect it might be in the other house. Go kill these two. Yeah, so long. I got a list that I kind of, uh, uh, of my backlog that I kind of follow when I'm playing games. There's no guarantee that I'm, uh, going to stick to it, but at least it's a loose idea or a reminder of, hey, you got these games to play, finish them. Ah, oh, here it is. This has. I'm coming. Hopefully I'm, like... You've been able to pick these things up, but I, I don't know whether I need to also pick them up, and I think you do. Can't see them, so I need to stand around and wait. Okay. Uh, maybe. Because uh, usually it doesn't like respawn for. Him. Are you on this quest? It's uh. Yeah, yeah. The one that's like uh. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Hopefully, finish oh, by the yep. end of March. I definitely have to pick them up. Also. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I remember most of them are. Which ones are you missing? No, I know where they I can see them, but like... There was one that was like right here, right? Yeah, it's the but farming equipment. It doesn't seem like I have to pick that up. At least it's not glowing. It was this thing right here. No, I can't click it. Did you Let's get it already? Right? What's the name of the quest? Uh... Prized Possessions? Retrieve the novel file? That's all I have. Oh, no, no, okay, novel's over here in this side. I like how they now have a gold dude here. End of first week. What, what games are on your list, Long? Billy, how's Dragon Quest XI going, by the way? Good. I'm, I just started doing... I did like the first quest with um, Reynaldo. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. It's cute, and then he gets like his little friends who come carry the things and hit stuff. Yeah. It's cute. EQ Eleven is really cool. Glad you're enjoying it. Alright, let's go back and do the uh our quest and then we'll turn in the quest that we done. Hopefully we'll get something good in April for Dragon Quest News, because uh the this year's the thirty fifth anniversary for Dragon Quest. May, not April, May. Uh, cause that's when Dragon Quest first came out. 